So assumption versus attraction. Off the bat, there's really no comparison. I mean, come on, the watered down teachings of Rhonda Byrne versus the age old teachings of Neville Goddard. There's clearly a winner and there is no competition, but for the sake of argument, we shall proceed. The first thing is that attraction does not teach you that you are God. It teaches you that the universe is God or that source is God or that there is still some external force, external God other than yourself that makes the decision on whether or not you get what you want. How many times have we all heard the universe is not going to give you this if you don't do this? If you're not this, the universe won't give you this. Or you can't attract it if you don't do this. I absolutely abhor and hate that successful operation of the law of attraction is hinged on your behavior. There are rules and guidelines that you have to follow. Terms and conditions on whether or not you can attract what it is you want. And just the word attract used in this context, attraction, it sounds like work. It sounds like you have to do something in order to be successful. And according to the law of attraction, you have to do a lot of some things. You have to be positive all the time. You have to be forgiving, which means you have to be willing to get your ass kicked and get kicked in your nutsack repeatedly throughout life and forgive everyone. Basically be treated like a doormat and get shitted on for your whole life in order to attract anything. Doesn't that sound like fun? Then of course, you have to be thankful. You also have to be grateful. You have to believe really, really, really hard or else you don't get anything. You have to be giving. And of course, you have to be happy all the time. Now, organically, being any of the things that I just mentioned naturally is fine. There's no problem with any of those things if you truly feel them and it's a natural thing for you to feel. But when someone's telling you that it has to be forced or that there is some consequence if you're not positive, forgiving, thankful, grateful, that sounds like hell to me. I would never want to have to do anything to get what I wanted. And thankfully, I don't and neither do you. Because, of course, we have the law of assumption. Now, with the law of assumption, Neville Goddard has taught all of us that we are God, that our own wonderful human imaginations are God, and that we are the operant power in creation. We simply just assume that we are what we assume ourselves to be, that we have what we assume ourselves to have, that all we have to do is assume what it would feel like to have, be, or do whatever it is that we want or desire to create, and we become that. And not necessarily become that, let me correct that. We are that the moment we assume it. We posture ourselves as who we assume we are. We are gods, and we use our own personal alchemy to create whatever it is that we want, without any terms or conditions, telling us who to be, how to feel, what to do, none of that. None of that applies to the law of assumption. And quite simply, assuming just sounds easier than attracting. Attracting, again, is indicative of something I have to do. Quid pro quo this for that. I've heard people so many times in this community conflate attraction and assumption. When you really look at it, they're completely different. Though I believe that attraction is a derivative of assumption, but definitely watered down by any religion you can think of so that it could be palatable and digestible by the masses. We all know the law of assumption and the core teaching that we are God and that we are the operant power of creation is extremely unpopular. Nobody really wants to hear that. The moment you say, or the moment that people find out that the law of assumption ultimately leaves out that external God 
Nobody wants anything to do with it. And they scatter like roaches because you have just taken a sledgehammer to the foundation of everything they believe, of everything I feel they think they have to believe. So once again, the clear winner here, and of course the undisputed worldwide champion would be, of course, and is, of course, the great Neville Goddard and his wonderful law of assumption. Thanks to everyone, old subscribers and new ones. Last week was a great week for us and a great week for the channel. More content coming on a regular basis. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, don't forget to thumbs up these videos. And until next time, everyone. Bye, everybody.